Hey, what's up everyone? It's Alter Tech back again with a new exciting video. In today's video, we have the Pixel 4 running Android 12 L, and we do have the OnePlus 9 Pro rocking Oxygen OS 12. Alright guys, let's go ahead and dive into this real quick. So this is just a quick comparison between the UIs of both devices. So just to help you guys visually get a nice idea of what it's like on both devices, I'm going to activate the screen recording mode on both devices. So one, two, one, two, three, start. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the, the notification menu or the pull down notification menu. Here's the OnePlus, very nice and snappy, quick. And as for the Pixel 4 XL, it's a little bit more on the, the smoother side. Let me just show you guys that again. Very nice and relaxing. Now what is Android L? Well, Android L is made for tablets and larger displays. So what's different? Uh, let's go ahead and try the Recents menu. And uh, it seems to be pretty much the same. Oh, it's pretty, pretty quick as well. Pretty fluid. Nice, so I guess if you're on a tablet and you wanted to quickly just you know, go to different apps, you guys have this as well. It's not very, very, it feels very, very nice. And the haptics as well, you guys can't feel it, but so every every app you, you pass, there's a little vibration, it's nice. And you do have your screenshot, your select tool, your select tool if you guys wanna grab some text and you know, really quickly, and just copy and send it to someone. You guys could do that as well. And you do have your clear all button all the way at the end. Now for OnePlus, close all is right on the bottom. And you guys can go ahead and you know do a put split screen option. And you guys can manage which apps you guys want locked down. Let's just try split screening as well. So we have Chrome. Here you go. So now you got split screen. Pretty easy to use. Pretty cool. Close this. And we're done. All right, and let's go ahead and close all apps over here. All right, now when it comes to scrolling through each app on the OnePlus 9 Pro, you also have that haptic feedback as well. It kind of sounds like a little bell, but for me, it's very therapeutic. If you guys want to add new widgets, you know, holding down on the home screen, you guys will get this menu. You guys can change your wallpaper and style, add some widgets. And as for the OnePlus 9 Pro, over here on the bottom, you guys can access your wallpapers, change your icons. And unfortunately, you guys can't change the icons when it comes to the, you know, the type. You guys can also change the shape, though. And you guys could uh, use these Art Plus icons, which are just redesigned icons for third-party apps. You guys could change the size of the icon and the roundness of the corners. And the size of the, the name as well on the bottom. How about for transitions? You guys can also change the transitions on your homepage. So I'm really happy with the default one. For, oh, this is really cool. Now I'm really happy with the default one, but this this rolling one, it's pretty cool. Uh, cube, I've seen that before. Flip, pretty cool. Card, I used to use this all the time. You do have the tilting one. Now the rolling one, this is just really, really catchy, but I'll stick to the default one. Actually, I'll stick with the rolling one for the rest of this video. And you guys do have more options as well. Uh, pull down gesture. You guys have the ability to change your home screen mode from drawer mode to uh, the iPhone mode, I would call. You know, so you take away the app drawer. You guys do have that ability to change your home screen to like, you know, whatever layout you want, three by five, five by five. And you guys also have race to wake and double tap to wake or turn off the screen as well. The recent task manager is also here as well. And you guys can also change the app animation speed as well. So you're getting a lot of features like I would use on Nova. So this is very, very impressive. Now you guys don't have the same customization as on the OnePlus. Weather and information about upcoming events will stop showing on your home screen and lock screen. You guys also have overview suggestions where you show suggested actions and indicators in the overview. All right, so let's look at the animations when it comes to opening an app. One, two, three for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Boom. Pixel 4. Let me try that again. Pixel 4. Boom. Boom. Let 
Now let's go ahead and check out the widgets real quick. And as you guys can see, you guys are missing out on that beautiful material clock. I'm a big fan of material, it just looks gorgeous. You know what, it feels like having Martha Stewart on your phone in which she just makes everything match. Like in your house, you'll make like your, your curtains, your bed sheets, everything match. But and that's how it feels with material. As for OnePlus, it's more about customizations and you guys are able to just fine tune everything to your own liking. You guys also have this OnePlus widget as well. You know, pretty much comes down to preference. Now for Android L, there really isn't much of a difference. It really just comes down to the device you're using. This is just for tablets. It just makes life a little bit more easier for tablets. And as for the overall performance of everything, you know, it's, it's nice and smooth, nice and quick. If you guys want to do a little side-by-side -side test when it comes to opening apps, let me close everything over here. We'll start with Chrome. One, two, three. There you go. Let's go ahead and start off with the camera app. One, two, three. Uh, OnePlus took that. Now with OnePlus with new camera update, the camera app just opens up a lot faster. That was stated in the, the it was it the log of the last update. And let's go ahead and try something else. Let's go into out with the Play Store. One, two, three. OnePlus. Let's go into the Google app. One, two, three. OnePlus. Let's go into something else. Let's see. Clock. No. Calculator. Why not? One, two, three. One plus, what the hell is going on? One, two, three. One plus nine pro. One plus nine pro. It feels like there's like some of these applications are not really dying down. It feels like they're still there. Uh, scrolling on the one on the Pixel Four, it's a little bit, a little bit jerky. OnePlus 9 Pro just freaking just flying right now. It doesn't make any sense right now. Um, shout out to I am Wayne Gilbert. Take some amazing photos, by the way. I just scroll down. I mean, the, the OnePlus 9 Pro, I don't know what it is, but it has the December security patch before the Pixel 6 and my Galaxy S21. And now with the Android 12 update, I know I had bugs early on with the first update. Oh, shout out to Grant too with the OnePlus 9 Pro over here some beautiful photos. I highly agree that you know, OnePlus 9 Pro is very capable of taking some beautiful photos. Shout out to RJ, shout out to Sarah Peachy. Now guys, I'm not sure, when it comes to performance, the OnePlus 9 Pro is freaking awesome. And with the battery life right now on this, I'm getting much better battery life than what I did before, but that depends on my usage as well. I'm a very light user, and I do have more options when it comes to the battery life. And just look at the performance, man. Let me just go ahead and just go into settings real quick on this one. I just like the, I just love the animations on Oxygen OS 12. It's been beautiful. I invite anyone out there who was just looking for a new phone to review, because this is a, definitely like a new phone to me. The Oxygen OS 12 experience. This is like an Oppo phone merged with an Oxygen phone. It's like, it gives you the best of both worlds. Completely new experience. Pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, cool animations over here as well. More customizations on the OnePlus 9 Pro. And um, I know this isn't an, an older phone, but I'm just, I was just very curious about any Android 12 L update. And like I've said, it just, it was just made for bigger displays and for tablets and whatnot. That, that was a big whole decision on this coming out. But as for the OnePlus 9 Pro, still very impressed with this device. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, this, anyways, guys, this is Alter Tech. Signing off. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.